jump right into our agenda here today on December 5th. The first thing that we're going to talk about are some updates, things that are happening, going on. There's certainly a, a lot of excitement, a lot of electricity in the air for, for Savian, and, and uh, we're moving at the speed of light. And then we're going to talk about some of the events on the calendar for December, things that are even underway today. And then we're going to get into uh, some tips on how to get your business started right, right foundation on the right foot, right track, you know, that will simplify your life, trust me, from getting entangled up into a, a knot, uh, which happens often for people that start too quickly, with no planning, and they end up in the ditch, okay? You want to you wanna get your, uh, your business, you know, running 200 miles an hour, but keep it between the ditches, keep it on the road, okay? And you can do that with a little vision and uh, just doing things the right way. And that's what four is all about, is managing your business well. We're going to give you some tips on some things that will help you stay on track, even as you're growing quickly. And then we'll end out today talking about some compliance tips and things that I would ask uh, from you to help us uh, make sure that we keep the, the company on the right track, uh, marketing-wise to the public, and that we're uh, always uh, staying you know, with the code compliance okay so um, that is the agenda let's jump the updates and reminders this is the big one this is an exciting announcement that just uh, went into effect yesterday uh, so everybody now that's making withdrawals from their uh, e-wallet account are now, now going to start seeing ACH daily deposits being put into their bank accounts okay so uh, the way it works is that the day you request the amount and the request time is Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. That request button um, is available. You make your request. The very next day from your request, let's say you request on a Monday, the very next day on a Tuesday, the ACH deposit is made, and it's usually 24 hours till it shows in your account. So by Wednesday, the funds would be in your checking account. So just remember, Monday through Friday, anything on the weekend, you'll have to wait till Monday. And, uh, and then you would see those funds on Wednesday. They would deposit Tuesday. You'd see the funds Wednesday. So you need one full business day uh, before the end of the uh, – oh, and this is the, another update. I'm sorry. Um, on, on the cancellation uh, piece, we've had a few people ask about it this week, and I'm going to touch on more here in a minute. But just remember, for those that have asked about canceling, you know, what, what's the policy, it's one full business day. Uh, at the end of the membership period to cancel to avoid the next payment. Uh, it cannot be within 24 hour next period date. So um, I tell people, you know, to safe, if you want to make sure that you don't push it far, go a couple days into your end date, okay? So if your end date was December 28th, instead of waiting till the 27th, I would, uh, to be safe, just uh, make sure they cancel by the 26. Okay, the is one business day, and to be safe rather than sorry, I would just recommend you go a second day, push it up two days before that uh, end of their first period or, or whatever their period end date is, that whatever period they're in. Okay, W 9s you must submit a W 9 before you can start getting paid. Uh, I see Zach saying our W 9 is processed in a few hours. Okay. Um, you know, the company is asking to allow one to two business days for that. If they uh, over deliver and get it done in a few hours, that's fantastic. That's always been our policy, always will. It's under promise and over deliver. But uh, once your W 9, which will be something that will pop up when you have accumulated $125 in your e wallet account, that, uh, that uh, information will pop up in your back office to complete a W 9. And uh, when it is submitted and processed, then you'll be able to go ahead and, uh, and make your first redemption. And that's only a one-time event, folks. Obviously, you don't have to do that every time. Just the very first time that you qualify for a commission to, to be redeemed uh, to your bank account, you'll do the W-9 one-time thing. And then from there on out, it'll be uh, really easy. Every time you get 125 in your account, the link will be uh, uh, live. And if you uh, make that redemption request Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, next business day, ACH goes out. Next 24 hours after that, it should arrive in your bank account. Okay. That is the process and procedure for getting those cash commissions coming your direction. Also, just an update, new videos were posted this week on the 28-day membership for VIP and above. If you hadn't seen the training, go to the YouTube channel at 
SavionVideos.com. Become a subscriber if you want to be on that first notice anytime a new video is added and not miss a video. Subscribe. Go to YouTube, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Okay, and that way you're always in the know what's going on. I can promise you there's going to be a lot of new videos always being added to that channel. So I would recommend you take two seconds and go there and click the subscribe button. It'd be well worth it. All right, and that 28 membership video is for people that are currently at a VIP level or above. Now we have one already posted from a week before for brand new members that are seeking to become founders to get their three and better the free. So there's two different videos. One is for brand new people to watch, to learn about how the membership cycle works and getting when they're a founder. And then this advanced video explanation of the 20 day membership is for those that have already gone past founder, qualified as a VIP founder and above. Okay. So uh, once you hit VIP, if you want to understand a little bit more clearly for how it works at that level, watch that video. All right, all right. Moving right along, let's talk about number two. Some events going on in December today. Kevin Marino's in Dallas. If you uh, weren't aware of that, and you know some people down that way, uh, send them over there. It's in uh, Arlington, Texas. Uh, there's an event banner on the Facebook channel. Just go to Facebook, search uh, Savion Dallas event. It should pop it right up for you, and you can get the information from the Facebook page. If you're not a member of Facebook yet, ask your sponsor to uh, invite you and go up to your next sponsor, or however far up you got to go to get someone to add you to the Facebook channel, but make sure you do that. A lot of important information and stuff is about these events is being posted on the Facebook channel. Uh, Sunday, Kevin will be in Houston, Texas. Again, there's an, there's an event banner that will be posted on that today on the Facebook page. And once again, you know, if you're looking for it, do a Facebook search for uh, Savion Houston event. You should be able to find it. Now let's talk about this next coming week. Next coming week, we have an event in New York. New York City on Friday, there's an open house uh, with uh, the president of Savion, John Sheehan, and myself, and Kevin Marino. All three of us will be there at that event to greet and meet with some of our, our VIP founder level and above members that qualify uh, for this meet and greet. We're looking forward to that. I know we're going to have quite a few people there. Saturday in Rybrook, New York, again, um, I will be there, Kevin Marino. I believe John Sheehan will also be at this event. Um, he'll be involved in the meet and greet and uh, be looking to meet all of our people there. That should be a big event. We, I, we're expecting a pretty big draw from all over the Northeast. I know we have a bunch of people from Texas flying up to support this event as well. So um, make sure you uh, put that on your calendar. Uh, I believe the start time is 10 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, with the meet and greet. And that event will probably be wrapping up around 2 p.m., okay? So uh, then, this is brand new information. On Monday, the 14th, and Tuesday, the 15th, I will be traveling with Mr. E.J. Dalias to San Juan, Puerto Rico, to participate in some opening meetings for Puerto Rico with our new leader down there, Mr. Edgar Morales, and we're very excited to have Edgar on the team. He's an industry veteran. He's built some huge organizations in Puerto Rico. He's native Puerto Rican, lives in Puerto Rico, and uh, we're expecting some big, big things happening down that way. So if you have any contacts down in the Puerto Rico area, let us know. We'll try to reach out to or you reach out to him and get him there and then tell him to come see us, and we'll make sure we take care of him for you, okay? Um, we'll get you that event information here um, in the uh, in the uh, we'll get that on the the Facebook channel and so forth, and we'll be posting on the webinars uh, next week as well. Okay, so that is the event plans. Um, that's all being put together, John. We'll have that information here uh, by the webinars this week. So just stand by for that. Just know the dates are the 14th and the 15th. And we'll have the uh, location and so forth here within the next uh, day or so. All right, let's move on to point number three here today, getting started on the right track. First thing is first, guys, with your new people, if you're brand new on the training, just joined Savion in the last couple of days or in the last week. The most important thing of the brand new member or the most important thing a brand new member that you just signed up should know is that they need to focus on three. Okay, that is goal number one. 
three membership bills, and ideally, perfect world, they would do it within three days. So, I mean, if there's ever a time to get someone to move to action, it's day one and work as hard as they can possibly work in inviting people to the webinar, to the conference call, to the recorded presentation, to do in three ways within that first 72-hour window. And why that's important? Because ultimately, if you if you are successful in reaching the rank of a founder within your first three days, ladies and gentlemen, those members are never going to have to pay out of their bank account again so long as they keep three active members on their team. Because uh, the beautiful thing about Savion is once you reach founder and you keep three active members, everything will be taken out of your affiliate commissions from that point. Your business pays for your membership. You don't have to pay for it out of your pocket. And, of course, um, if you want to learn what happens after three days, watch the video that I created, nine-minute video in, on the YouTube channel about the, uh, the one I just talked about earlier. Um, as a founder, you know, uh, how the membership cycle works. We're not going to go through that explanation today because we have a video that explains it. It's available 24 hours a day. You can watch it 100 times, okay? But just trust me when I tell you your uh, best step forward into Savion is to come out running okay and you don't have to run hard every day although you should but if you if you have a limited amount of time and effort try to concentrate as much time and effort your first three days and getting one membership average per day or get all three the first day but I'm just saying stack the deck load it up try to get your first three within the first three days because it will uh, put you in a position where you will maximize the value of the enroll three and get a better than free opportunity. Second thing you want to do after you focus on your three memberships is, of course, get your 10 favorite stores locked back, back office. We do have a step-by-step a, a -step training that we did last weekend. It's on the YouTube channel. You can watch, watch that video as well. It will take you through the steps of doing that. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I would recommend you do all 10 of your stores at one time, so if you're not sure which 10 yet, don't enter them in yet until you come up with 10. Remember that online and offline stores like Walmart and Walmart.com is not one store, that's two stores with the 10 favorites. So Target, Target.com, two stores. So just remember that, put those 10 stores in and start using your membership immediately. You want to uh, get familiar with it, you want to start experiencing it, you want to start collecting those receipts, start telling people about it, start posting about it. Folks, this membership is here to help you save money. Use it. It's kind of like the same idea of, uh, you know, if you signed up for the gym, it's January 2nd. You're all motivated to get in shape, lose weight, and um, you, you decide to go ahead and join the gym. And, and it's like, you know, the first thing you should do is jump right in and do your first workout and work with your trainer, right? And people just, you know, they procrastinate and they, and they delay and then it becomes a week and it becomes two weeks and becomes two weeks and becomes a month and you're like oh what's the heck with you know no, I'm just not gonna do anything with your membership you know don't be that guy don't be that gal jump into action right away with your why you're on board you're in this to save money so use it okay it's not hard it's really simple stuff that you do here folks it's just that it takes a little bit of your time it just create a little discipline to do the activity you need to do to take advantage of your membership and teach your people to do the same Third step, plug in to the power hour. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I found that things work a lot better when I'm plugged when they're plugged into the wall, the electricity, to the current, to the power. Okay, things don't work as well if they're unplugged, and it goes with your business too. If you're unplugged from Savia, and if you're not plugged into the webinars, if you're not plugged into the Kevin Marino training following the webinars, if you're not plugged into these training like we're doing today right now. And gentlemen, you simply are not going to have any power to motivate you to move forward in your business. You're going to sit there in a neutral status. And you know what? At the end of a month or two, you're going to sit back and say, gosh, you know what? I guess it just didn't work for me. Yeah, exactly. It didn't work because you didn't plug in. I mean, nothing works if it doesn't have power behind it, right? You got to plug in. This webinar, the Sunday two webinars, the training conference calls following with Kevin Marino, that is your source power plug into it bring guess when you guess folks that equals you ranking up the chart from founder VIP to elite and so forth okay? um, I, I love it when people plug in and support you know but with their presence 
And I love the fact that we have repeat supporters that want to come on every night and be there and be present. That's great. I, I love that. However, I will tell you, your business won't grow by you supporting the webinar just by yourself. Bring somebody. Tell somebody. Invite somebody. You know, and the recommendation is take advantage of the two-hour window every night from about, uh, and i got to put this in Eastern time because I'm in Central time, but from 9 Let's see, what time is our webinar? It's at uh, 9 o'clock. So it'll be 8.30 Eastern Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Get on your phone, get on your computer, and start inviting heavily. And your goal is to get one or two or three guests on there that night. Get them on, and you get your one or two on there. You then get them right on the next edition to the next conference call with Kevin and his guests that night, where they're going to get some training and get a little more exposure to Savion, and then right after that, you're going to do a follow-up three-way with your upline. That little two-hour block of activity right there, folks, if you just plug into that five days a week, that's 10 hours a week commitment to build your Savion business. I can promise you, if you dedicate and commit yourself to those 10 hours, two hours each day, the pre-event, the webinar, the conference call, and the post-event with the follow-up three-way, your business will grow, and it will grow fast, and you will rank advance very quickly up the line with Savion, okay? So uh, after you've got some people on board, make sure that you're um, adding them to the Facebook page so that they can um, be uh, welcomed and embraced by the community that we're building here. We have an unbelievable community building here at face on Facebook with Savion right now. Thanks to all of our uh, regular contributors on there that are doing a great job of, of uh, you know, inviting uh, people to uh, different things and, uh, you know, are, are posting welcomes and liking things. I mean, it's just, it's a great positive environment. It's very in inspiring. It's very motivating. And uh, your new people need to see that, okay? If you're not seeing what's going on in the Facebook room, you are missing the, the heartbeat of what's going on in Sabian right now, really, okay? So get your new people added on there as soon as they join. And then lastly, um, I would recommend as part of your, uh, your getting started right is to connect to an event if it's possible, the nearest one closest to you. So right now, again, you know, we've got people down in the south uh, part of the country in Texas that are an event today. We're going to have some events in the northeast. So if, you're, if it's within your ability to get to the northeast next weekend to the Rybrook event with John Sheehan, folks, be there be there. Even if you have to buy a plane ticket, I would say be there. It is so worth it. It will mean such a huge difference in your system of everything involved with this company and it will accelerate your growth a hundred and over. I can tell you from a fact of 22 years in this business. Okay. So, um, if you can get there, get there. And if you have, uh, if you want to take a little winter break and come to Puerto Rico, you're more than welcome to join us in Puerto Rico next week. I mean, you know, wherever the events are, if you want to be there, be there. But I would say that once you get to an event, it definitely will take business to another level. There's just no doubt in my mind. So those are the five steps right there. Focus on the three in three days. Get your 10 favorite stores. Start using the membership. Get plugged in. Powered up every day, five days a week, at least those two hours a day, 10 hour a week commitment. Bring those people into the community. Let them see the action and the excitement. And then, you know, upgrade your own commitment level and belief by coming to an event. Let's move on to number four, managing your business well. I put a post on the Facebook wall last week about this because, you know, we are growing very quickly. And I've noticed that some people um, last week had a couple of issues with people placing the wrong legs, okay? And uh, placement is a very important piece, obviously, of getting your business off on the right start. I mean, when you get a leader or somebody you brought on that ends up falling in the wrong place and they get submitted, it causes trouble, okay? It's like trying to slow down a train going 90 mile an hour and, you know, it uh, puts a whole bunch of stuff on the tracks that can, you know, derail your momentum because uh, everybody's trying to move fast and all of a sudden now you got to stop it hold everybody up from putting their people in because someone's on the wrong leg and that person had other people to bring in and now we got to back up and, and go in reverse for a minute to get, you know, go two steps back or a step back to go two forward to sort of speak. So um, really be careful, okay, with placing new people. When you enroll in the Savion, check, you know, it's kind of like the carpenter, you know, measure, uh, 
was it measure uh, twice, cut once, or whatever the little slogan is? I'm not a carpenter, but something along those lines. That you know, do double check your work before you really move it forward into putting them into the system. You have to understand something about our software, folks. We have a daily posting software. It posts transactions immediately all the way up the tree. So you know, when when you hit that enter button, that information goes directly all the way up to the top of the tree. It it, uh, it causes happen. It causes commissions to trigger. Um, there's all kinds of things, events that are uh, linked to that transaction that you just submitted. Now, if it's a wrong transaction, a wrong person, that position, you know, cannot be moved, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, understand that. So, you've got to be very careful. Make sure that your placement is correct. Now, there's a couple ways that placement is being done at this time. Number one is there is a toggle switch in your profile. That toggle switch says first team, second team, third team. Now, you don't even want to worry about the third team, so just disregard the third team. Make sure you don't have that team checked, okay? What I would do, and I'm going to say this in two directions. I'm going to say this if you're a sponsor and you've just enrolled a new member. Do your new member a favor. Tell your new member that I am building on my team, too. You're going to be placed on my team, too, so I would recommend that you immediately go into your profile, fill out your information, and place the button on team two so that your first people will be placed on your team two okay and that would be very helpful to your new person now uh, for the new person obviously um, you would you could ask your uh, sponsor what should I do I've got somebody already ready to come on board where should I put them you know take that moment pause call your sponsor and just double check make sure that you look at that situation they can go in your back office look at it with you and make sure you have it in the right place that would be the first option. The second option is that the company just recently implemented a uh, placement by genealogy option. In other words, when you look at your genealogy in the back office, you'll see there are blue links and it says open. If you click on that open link, it's going to pop up the sign up form and it's going to show you as the sponsor. And when you drop in the information of your new member, it's going to place them specifically in that place in the tree. So you have the ability to visualize where you want your person in the organization on team one or two, wherever that open spot is that you want them to go, you click on the open, it pops up to the sign up box, you fill out the information, it's going to drop them in that spot. Okay, so if you're a visual person, you can work it through the, the, the tree and clicking on the actual spot you want them. If you understand just the, the placement is that everybody set on team two is going to go down team two until you flip it to team one, then it would go over to team one. So it's a back and forth type of thing or just place them directly with the tree. We do have another enhancement coming with the software very soon that the software will recognize the, the leg that your sponsor is on when you join and it's automatically going to set your switch to the same. Your sponsor was on uh, set to team two when you join and you replace on their team two leg your automatic switch will be uh, defaulted in the future here to team two to make it consistent so that uh, everybody's on the same page okay and um, you know we'll probably have a way for you to override that so that you can manually place them yourself if you want to do that so uh, those are some of the uh, tips and offer to you on placement it is important you know, be fast about recruiting, but be slow on placement. Just take an extra step, precautionary step, double check everything, make sure that you got them in the right spot because that extra step of caution is going to save you a lot of headaches and it's going to keep your momentum going without a hiccup. Okay? So just uh, please be aware of that. All right. Um, please check your profile for your renewal date. Okay? Um, some people, again, uh, they're not maybe exactly sure when that next draft might be on their account or you know how soon they need to get their three people by and so forth and I'm going to show you up some pictures here uh, in, a, in a moment here that's going to illustrate where you can find that but always stay in touch with your back office I'd be logging into your back office once a day there is an update page there with new information new event banners are being put up back there now, always take a look at your genealogy you know make sure you uh, just stay in touch just check in it's like part of your daily method of operation should be to log into your account for five minutes take a quick glance around see if there's anything new or different back there look at your genealogy uh, make sure that uh, there's nothing else new back to that you need to be aware of but always be mindful of that renewal date 
and I'm going to show you where that's at in just a moment. Cancellation, we already talked about one full business day before the renewal date. Recommendation be two days prior for anybody that needs to know that information. Okay, so here it is. When you log in your back office, this is the profile section back there. Okay, the renewal date is right here. Okay, you can see it here in this yellow box. And it says clearly 119 2016. So that, there you go. You know you have till 119 now uh, that your business is active, it's uh, qualified. And uh, surely when you're posted that far out, that means you're one pay period ahead. Okay. And that does an indicator that your business is cash flowing, generating enough income that it's on uh, autopilot. You don't have to worry about it. It's not going to come out of your bank account at this point because your business is paid in advance and your business is growing. Okay. Uh, the second piece of it is. Uh, the key cancel button. The cancel, if someone wants to, they log in their profile. Here's the cancel button right there with the better I was pointing to. As I mentioned before, I recommend just my personal opinion. Maybe go a couple days before that renewal date. So if, if my renewal date was 119, I wanted to cancel for whatever reason, I'd make sure I canceled before, you know, uh, like before 117. Just, okay, because the policy is one full bit. This day, we had some people this week that uh, got sidetracked on that a little bit on the one business day, and uh, you know we had to caught up on how the how the plan works. So I'm just letting you know, FYI, so that you can explain to your people if if they ever want to cancel the membership, tell them without being charged again for the next renewal period. Just tell them do it at least two days in advance. Simple, okay? All right, we're going to close out here in the next few minutes on compliance. And um, for those that are watching this by video, this is really important, okay? Uh, because, uh, and for those of you in the room today, this is an important piece here. And, and I want to take a few minutes to uh, touch on some things here. Savion is going to grow very, very fast, okay? And, and the, the realistic part of, of fast growth is that it does wake up a lot of people and does stir up a lot of attention. And, you know, and that's great, okay? However, um, what we cannot afford and what you as affiliates with Savion cannot afford who want to have a business 12 months from now and 24 months from now and three years from now and five years from now and 10 years from now, what we cannot afford together, uh, the company and what you as affiliates who are building this as a long-term business cannot afford, is we cannot afford to have people out there expressing messages about Savion, even out of their excitement and their enthusiasm, that's just simply the wrong message or it's being presented in the wrong way. Now, there, we, we live and work, work in an industry that is regulated, okay? We have um, expectations that are put upon us at the network marketing company by the regulators. They do expect us to function and adhere to certain things when it comes to how we do business, okay? And I'm going to say that uh, it's best to catch it early on before, uh, you know, things go down the road and the habits are bad and just um, out of reach of uh, you know, bringing back in. So we're going to express this early on, and I'm asking leaders to help me convey this message to those, those people that are not on this training today. Let's we'll start with number one. Please do not post videos promoting income claims. Save that for your one-on-ones -on with your prospects. Do not make that public information. It's not necessary, guys. Businesses that have to use income uh, as a way to, you know, sway people to their business, you know, uh, it's, it shows that they're weak in one other area and that they're ignoring really the valuable consideration is the product. And, folks, we know we have a product that stands on its own two legs. It doesn't need to be overshadowed by a compensation plan. The compensation is fantastic. Talk to me one-on-one -on -one about how great your uh, your your business is paying you, how much money you're making. You can tell me all you want, but don't go on a Facebook video or a YouTube video and broadcast it to the world because, folks, there's a word for that. It's called enticement. Um, it's against the law. It can get a company shut down, and uh, the opportunity could be over as fast as it gets started. So please do not make those kind of videos public. Do not take screenshots of your e-wallet commissions and post it on Facebook and tell people how great it is. Again, tell your people when you're talking to them on the phone how great it is. If they don't believe you, take them to a, uh, you know, a uh, join.me and show them your back office if you want, okay, on a one-on-one. -on -one. That's, that's between you and your person, but do not make them public, please. Do not on YouTube, but do not put them on Facebook. 
um, it, it, it's not necessary and it's actually um, um, against the law. Okay, so uh, please uh, understand that. Uh, always talk in a presentation. Anytime you're talking about Savion, please put the membership first because let's not put the cart before the horse. Don't jump right into the, the residual income and the daily rank program. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not what Savion is. We're not a comp plan. We're a membership. We sell a product that helps people save money. This is shopping. This is consumer driven. Okay. Always keep the product first and foremost in any presentation because that is what we sell, ladies and gentlemen. We don't sell a compensation plan. We don't sell daily residual income. That's a benefit of what we're about. But that's not what we sell. We sell a product. Please remember that. Okay. Too many people want to jump ahead in the presentation and go right to what they feel is what is important. And even though you know it may excite you the most about the compensation plan more than saving money, that's okay. You know that's that's your that's your own personal motivation and excitement. But when you go to a member who is uh, of the public who is not involved in Savion, okay, they haven't formed their opinion on what's most exciting to them. You need to present the business properly and put the horse before the cart and promote the product that we do sell, and that is a membership that will help them save up to three thousand dollars a year. Okay, put the value in the product, and everything else will take care of itself. And again, if, if you're talking to a leader that's really big in the compensation plan, certainly on a private conversation you can tell them about the comp plan and how great it is and how much money you're making, all of that. But that, that belongs in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It doesn't belong in the public space. Okay, so I just want to make make sure I'm being clear on that. Also, we ask that you please run everything by uh, by myself through our marketing department. Uh, anything online that you're promoting, um, as far as marketing, okay, that you're creating by your own hands. If it's not something a tool that we're creating, and you're simply you know taking the liberty to create your own things and Believe me, there's nothing wrong with this. I'm not saying that you're not allowed to create your own capture pages or marketing videos or, or marketing pieces or if you have banners you're creating for events or if you're making your own PowerPoints. It's all fantastic. We don't want to stifle your creativity. We want to encourage that kind of leadership. We're behind you on that. We only ask one thing. Please get it approved. Don't go rogue and put things out there and start doing your own webinars, doing PowerPoints that don't mimic the message of our PowerPoint. As I was explaining to some people the other day, um, you know, they were in a hurry to get some stuff done in another language in Spanish. And and uh, I said, you know, we have an official presentation coming out this month. But until then, if you want to make it temporary, I said, I'll send you our PowerPoint. And if you want to change up your slides, do whatever you want to do. However, Make sure the message is consistent with the message that we deliver on our presentation and make sure that you run it by me first before you do your first presentation. So, you know, we support your effort out there to create tools that you feel are needed for your team. If you're in a different group and you want to, you know, do things a little differently, nothing wrong with that. Just be sure to do it the right way, okay? Because what I'm going to be looking for is the I want to make sure that your messaging, your presentation isn't 90% comp plan and 10% product. It needs to be 50-50. You need to give proper weight and balance to the message that we're offering because um, otherwise, uh, you know, you're going to put the wrong focus on the wrong thing and that's not the right thing. Okay. So that is really important as well. So in closing here today, guys, let's, let's work together. Okay, the corporate side of this, working with the field leaders, let's preserve and preserve Savion. This is an incredible opportunity. This is going to be a changing business for, for many, many people for many years to come. If we all uh, work hard by honoring the compliance code ourselves individually, so if you individually will make that commitment that you'll do what I'm asking you to do, that's the first step, and I, I thank you wholeheartedly if you would accept that agreement to just you know do what you do your best to comply with the compliance code and then also I would say add a second part if you would help us be the eyes for the company you know be the eyes behind our neck here uh, watching over the members on your team if you happen to notice somebody on your team post a video on Facebook or on YouTube and you're like 
man, you know, that you're putting a screenshot of your check on or your income on there. You know, you didn't probably see that training. You'd be best advised to probably take that down, change that. If you would help us that way, help us police, you know, ourselves so that we can, you know, we can, if anybody ever questions Savion, we could prove that, listen, we, we hold clients to the highest standard and we even, uh, you know, ask our, our affiliates to, to adhere to the same standard that the corporate does. And, uh, and everybody works very hard. And I'll tell you, folks, if we, you know, work together in partnership on this side of the business, folks, you know, we're going to keep a, a very good reputation in the industry. We're going to uh, we're going to stay compliant with the regulators, and we're going to do the right thing. And you know, and this opportunity can last for years and years and years and years, but it does take a team effort because you know we are fast momentum in 2016, and uh, there's only a few uh, corporate eyes watching. We need everybody watching uh, what's going on. And please, if you ever see something out there and you want to be anonymous about it, don't be afraid to send me an email or reach out to me through a support ticket or whatever you want to do and just make me aware of it and we'll address it directly if you don't want, wish to be known for uh, making the mention. But uh, I hope that as a leader that you'll feel like you know, um, you're not doing a bad thing by just simply asking somebody on your team to change a video they put up a post they put out there or just to scale back a little bit to that they're uh, too one-sided on one part of the business, you know, if they're too focused on the comp plan and not giving mention or value to the product. They need to be corrected on that. And that's as a leader in the company, that is part of our responsibility is to make sure people, you know, stay on the right track. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead and type in the chat. If you have any questions or if you agree what I just said makes sense, if, if you can commit to that yourself today, just put, I'm, I'm in, I agree, I'm with you. You know, I'd like to, I'd like to see that uh, kind of what you guys are thinking on this because um, this is really important stuff and I, I, I want to know if we're on the same track here, if you guys are on the same page with me. Uh, let's open up the chat here real quick and uh, get some feedback from you guys. And also, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about today, shoot your questions in here because we're going to wrap this up here really, really fast. John Newman, 100%. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate uh, you uh, stepping out there and saying that. I, I do appreciate it more than you know, more than you know. Um, you know, we just got something so awesome and so great, and uh, you know, you know that uh, there's going to be some disappointed companies, maybe losing distributors to your downline, the Savion. And uh, you know, uh, believe me, when you're on top. You know how it goes, crabs in the bucket. When you're crawling out, everyone's trying to grab you back in. And when you're on top, people, they want to take you down. They don't want to see you succeeding as well as we're going to succeed. And uh, people will spread rumors and do all, all kinds of stuff. And my only point is let's don't feed into their game plan. Let's don't make it easy for them by putting up some crazy wild videos and stuff. Let's keep this thing pure. Let's keep it professional. Let's show the industry that we're professionals here at Savian. We're not who they might think we are. We're the real deal, and we're going to be here to, to contend with for a very long time. So um, with that being said, any other questions, guys, before we wrap up here today on anything uh, that we talked about? Anything. Going once, anybody question? Going twice. I'll take a polling question here real quick. I always kind of want to make sure I'm connecting with my information. Uh, let me ask you one quick polling question, yes or no, type it in the chat. Did you find this video, or this video, we're making a video, uh, did you find this training today to be helpful for you to advance your business today, yes or no? Awesome. Thank you, Zaxon. Kathy, awesome. Beautiful. New York Meeting Info. Zach, do we have a do we have a flyer? I know we we're just finishing that up this morning. Uh, Zach, do we have a flyer yet that we we'll posted on the New York meeting? Can you address that with John? And maybe you guys, maybe you can send a link to him or something. I'm not sure if we have that. Com it should be complete. Uh, we were just finishing it. Thank you, Daphne. Awesome. Did not yet. Stand by on that one. We'll have that one and the, the Puerto Rico one out, um, all coming out here real soon, if not today, sometime the next 24 to 48 hours. And that's a wrap, guys. All right. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great Saturday. We'll see you back tomorrow night in the live webinar at 9 o'clock Eastern time.